So today in this video is I want to share about how we can start using ESP32 to control the Bluetooth. So unlike Arduino, Arduino is if you want to use the Bluetooth, you need to have a separate a Bluetooth module to pair with Arduino. Then only you can use a Bluetooth. But for this ESP32, they already have the built-in Bluetooth and a Wi-Fi. So to use the Bluetooth, we're going to use Arduino IDE and we need to set up properly. So make sure you watch my first video that how to set up ESP32 with Arduino IDE. Otherwise, you cannot use ESP32 to Arduino IDE. This ESP32 has a built-in LED on digital pin number 2. And we're going to use the digital pin number 2 to control LED. And anyway, if you want to use different digital pins, it's a lot of the pins are available and you can choose and you can change the pin we're going to use micro USB here okay then just connect to the computer to upload the code once you already opened Arduino IDE this is the code that we're gonna upload to our ESP32 so to be able to use ESP32 on this Arduino IDE, then make sure that you watch my previous video that how to start using ESP32 with Arduino IDE. Otherwise, you're gonna see a few change. So uh, here's the code, very simple. Include the Bluetooth serial.h. This is the library file for all this uh, Bluetooth uh, header file. And this is what we give the name for this Bluetooth. We just give the BT. And this is for variable car comments and the void setup. So we give the name Bluetooth and Bluetooth.begin. So our ESP Bluetooth, we have the name as ESP32 Bluetooth. Whatever you want to give the name, you can change it. And a pin mode, we use the pin mode pin number two as the output because Pin number 2 has a built-in LED in this ESP32 and here this is the loop function so we use this if statement if Bluetooth is available and uh, Bluetooth read so if Bluetooth is available and if this comment if this input 1 and the Bluetooth we read digital Pin number 2 as high. If 0, then low. So the delay for 100 milliseconds. So the delay for 100 milliseconds. So you can change any uh, option right here. And after this, what you're going to do is you already make sure that your ESP32 board has uh, the correct version model. So if you clip here, Okay, if before that, if you click the tools here, then you will see a lot of ESP board over here. And you must make sure that you select the correct ESP32. My version is ESP32 Dev Key V1. So you can check. So you can check your ESP board on the behind of the board. Then you will see the model number. Okay, after selecting this and make sure then you select the popcom so make sure there is the popcom is connect on here so after this you click the upload code and once you press the code then you need to hold the boot button here otherwise your upload will be error so this is what it require you need to press the boot on the ESP32 and now upload it ok now you can release so after you release now the code is already done upload and we need to press enable pin EN here reset button ok so what you gonna do is the next you open the phone and from the play store you just download a bluetooth serial so you need to install this bluetooth serial
turn open the terminal the device Opt. of course you need to open the bluetooth on the phone here and you need to check okay here we have esp32 bt what we give the them in our code inside so press this and uh, we have to pay right so the bluetooth is already paired with this phone and go back to the apple here and let's check so click device so we see esp32 bt press and here we can see there is connected so connected so remember that our code is if you press if you press one and led will be turned on so let's make right so if you send zero then led will be turned off zero if one on if zero off one on zero on so this is all about how we can use the bluetooth with esp32 and it's a very simple and this is a very simple and this is all about how we can start using a bluetooth control with esp32 so i hope this video will help for someone and thank you for watching my video